Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today I want to just fly around in the zones in Dragonflight that I have unlocked up until now. I currently just arrived in the third zone. Um, I've played through the entire first and second zone in Dragonflight and um, I'm really enjoying dragon riding. It's very fun and um, I just want to show you guys what it's like and the zones look amazing so I just want to show you guys what the zones look like as well. Um, but before we get started, I would like to introduce you guys to the sponsor of today's video. Do you often wake up with neck or back pain? And do you feel like your current pillow does not provide you enough support? Then you should definitely check out the sponsor of today's video, Zamet Sleep. Zamet offers ergonomic sleeping pillows that are perfectly conform to the natural curve of your head, your neck, and your shoulders. Their pillows help reduce neck or back pain, provide 8 hours of deeper sleep, help to align your body and overall make you sleep much better because their ergonomic design can help to relieve the pressure on your neck and shoulders much more effectively. I've tried their butterfly shaped memory foam pillow and I was a bit skeptical at first because of the unusual shape but I must say that the pillow was actually very comfy and both soft and supportive at the same time. The little flaps on the side are very comfortable to rest my head on when sleeping on my side and I feel much more support in my neck. So if you want to improve the quality of your sleep and your body posture and relieve neck and back pain at the same time, then definitely check out Zemet through the link in my description and you can use my code CHERRY15 to get 15% off of your order. Enjoy your sleep and thank you so much for your attention and let's get started. Just a little heads up before we start. I'm not the best in dragon riding, um, I'm learning, it's getting better, but sometimes I find myself out of the, um, like the resource, I don't really know, but, um, yeah, there's a bit of trial and error, so it will probably happen in this video too, so just so you guys know. Um, just for those of you who know WoW but don't play Dragonflight or if you're curious to tr uh, use dragon riding, you have this called um, Vigor, I think that's how you say it. It's a resource that recharges while you're underground or when you're flying really fast. So you can fly up with one of the two abilities. You have an ability to launch yourself up and an ability to launch yourself forward, basically. Each ability uses one of these spheres, or however you call it, one figure. So I'm just going to show you guys. I've completed this zone called the Waking Shores, and this second zone called Onaran Plains. And I just arrived in the Ezer Span, which is... I've only seen this tiny bit of it, but so far it looks like the best out of the three that I've seen, in my opinion. I think Azur Span is my favorite so far. But I really like these other two as well. They are beautiful. I uh, wonder what's happening here. Captain Lancer. Maybe a rare just popped up. But yeah, I'll show you guys. So this is a dragon that I have. It's the second dragon you unlock. I want to have the third one. That's my pick. But I have this one now. You can customize them. I'll show you a little bit of that in a bit. So yeah, let's just fly around. I think this looks really cool. Um, we're just going to fly around this place a bit. So I go up. Oh, what's over there though? And then I can go down. 
gain my speed and that makes me go quite a bit faster I have no goal of where we're going to fly to Oh, there's a little waterfall there We're going too fast for it And this, guys, has been really fun I'm really loving Flying around like this there's also little races that you can do Isn't this a stunning zone? Let's go higher And there's a bit of a, like, a lava zone here As you can see It's quite a big zone There's um, also a sort of a talent tree for your dragon That gives you like uh, buffs or makes your uh, figure, 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 I don't know how to say it Makes it charge a bit faster and stuff like that Oh, we're at the ocean here I'll go back And um, you get points for your talents by finding glyphs. They kind of look like golden coins, and they're hid hidden across the zones. And they're usually very high up in the air. So with your dragon riding, you just need to go and get those. And those will allow you to um, put talents in your tree I'm gonna go over here because there's a spot that I really want to show you guys up here when you fly up by the way you lose your speed and that way you will use your resource pretty quickly so you always want to try to like aim down a little bit so you can gain your speed and have a, like, a momentum basically so I'm going to show you guys this little quest hub I think this is absolutely stunning Oh, Ooh, that was tricky So This is like the big city of this zone, I guess And um I'm reading all the quests. I always try to do that at the launch of a new expansion And there's so many cute quests here. I feel like so far Dragonflight is very um, very wholesome It's Like the storyline is there, but it's not as complicated and wild as like Shadowlands with the jailer and stuff. It's it's a bit more straightforward, it's just a bad dragon attacking and we need to protect everyone and I really like it So yeah This little place and the quest that I did here are very wholesome, I really liked it So if you need to play through here, I really recommend doing the side quests and trying to read them There's some very cute ones So I'm going to a high spot um, I'll go to the Skytop Observatory because that's where we can. Oh, it's raining. That didn't happen to me before. Not, not in Dragonflight yet. Ooh, I love thunder. This is awesome. So, oh, I can jump. I don't want to use my resource. So, there's races you can do while dragon riding 
but I'm gonna go to this other zone because That's where you can customize your dragon, and I want to show you guys. Okay. So here... I can show you guys the first dragon that I got, which is the Renewed Proto Drake. And I can't change the color yet. Oh, it, it, it shows you where to get it. That's pretty cool. Centaur, Renown. Okay, cool. So there's a lot of customization options. And you can unlock many of them. It's like a recipe scroll. You can get them through... Uh, Rares, rares can drop them, treasures can contain them, quests give them as reward sometimes. That's how you unlock all these different options. So, different skills, there's different patterns, horns, as you can see I've unlocked a few. I really like this curved one or this charger one. Uh, different colors Got the lightest one And then There's the tail if you want it spiked bare This one has hairs at the end And there's this one spined Then the throat bare spiked finned have body armor, pretty cool. Wonder where I get that. Fall track and a quarter and out, okay. Then the snout. I prefer this one over this one looks a bit too scary for me. <laughs> this is the top of the head. The brow. Hair color. Mine doesn't have hair, so you can't really see that. The eye side. I actually want to change this. Glow. And then I have this Windborne Velocid Drake. I'm not a huge fan of the face of these, like the head. I do like this model. It's pretty cool, but I don't know. In Wowhead, there was a white color option for each drake, and I don't see them back in here. I absolutely love white dragons, so I hope that we'll get the option for a white dragon at some point. Um, yeah, I think the snout looks a bit scary on this one. It's a bit weird. It's all very animal-like, like a wolf. It's kind of like birds or something. I think this one is the best. Still not great. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of options. I can give mine hair on the tail, actually. It's a fluffy boy. Um, patterns. Give mine this little pattern. And... You can give it ears. I give mine horns. I think with these ears it looked a bit weird with this snout. Eye color. So yeah. That's how you can customize it. So I'm using this one. And um, yeah, so let's keep on going. I kind of want to update you guys on my little journey in Dragonflight. Trying to take it really slow, enjoying every bit of it. And I've also been catching a lot of pets. Like, each pet that I see, I'm catching it. Because it's a thing I always slacked with in previous expansions. And now I need to do it all afterwards, and I don't want to do that anymore. So, I'm 
catching each pet that I see. Here you can see this was one of the glyphs, but I already got it, so it turned silver. Usually it's grey. So, I need to fly up quite a bit to go to this next zone. It's all dark and gloomy now because of the rain. Ah, oh, not air. It's dry here. So this zone I really enjoy. It gives me a bit of uh, grand vibes. I think this part is really cool. With the waterfalls. It's very pretty. And flying here is very nice and easy and feels great. So I feel like they maybe took some inspiration from Final Fantasy XIV with this zone. It's really focused on clans and tribes and they all have their their own motives and goals. Reminded me a bit of the the aura in Final Fantasy. Just gliding around is also pretty nice. I don't even know where I'm going. I have no set goal yet. So I did the first two dungeons. I really liked the first one. And the second one I think was great because you need to fly around with your dragon riding, which feels very epic. The only thing I didn't like was that both times I had a tank that really rushed everything. And I like to take the environment in, but I didn't really have a lot of time for that. Because we were going so fast. Oh, I, I love waterfalls. I don't know if you guys know if I ever told you, but the same in real life. I love waterfalls. Let's go in here, by the way. It's because we don't have any in the Netherlands, because our country is flat. So whenever I see a waterfall, I get hyped. Okay, let's go up. We kind of need to uh, use a lot of resources now. going surprisingly well. I might land here for a little break. Okay. There we go. If you go very fast and you land, there's a very loud sound. Like very heavy impact sound. Like it's a very heavy thing landing, which is exactly what happens. I think the sound in this expansion is also great. The effects. Now this looks lovely with the little flowers. I really like it. Yeah. So, let's see. Still gotta go a bit to the right side. I'm gonna run up there a bit, so that I'm a little bit higher. And... Oh. Okay. Bye. <laughs> now you have a very clear view. Oh, it's all becoming purple. So I just joined or entered the second zone. There's some Tuscar. And I can't wait to do quests for them because they seem so cute and wholesome. And I just want to have a pet. Cute little Tusker pet. I'm going. 
going to show you guys a tiny sneak peek of what I've seen here so far. So there's this. This looks very cool. I really like the red yellow colors. And this gives me a bit of Northrend Grizzly Hill vibes. The music is also very pretty. Bagpipes, and I love bagpipes. And we just heard a woodpecker, by the way. That's such a nice detail. And then here, there's this whole icy, icy part. Looks really cool. There's like water dripping here. Look at that. So that's all I've seen here so far. So I'm not gonna go any further because then I'm also spoiling myself. Um, just gonna go to this cute little little spot here. This is where I was fishing earlier. Looks very peaceful. So far, questing here has been very chill and relaxing. So yeah, that's about it. That's the zones that I've seen so far. Just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek and update you about what I'm doing at the moment. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're having fun in Dragonflight if you're playing. forget to give this video a thumbs up and a comment to help boost my channel and subscribe if you haven't done that already and I hope to see you guys next time thank you so much for watching